Welcome back. I don't have to tell you it's the season of the snakes and snake bites are all too common. The USDA reports about 8,000 people are bitten by venomous snakes in the United States each year. But parents, there are some ways you can keep your kids safe as they play outside. And that's why we're turning things over to Dr. Dominic Lucia, the chief medical officer at McLean Children's Hospital. First things first, Air Doctor, what do you do if you see a snake? I know what I do. I walk away. <laughs> That's a really good idea, Chris. So if you do see a snake, do walk away, leave it alone. Snakes are naturally shy. They don't want to interact with you. You don't have to feel the need to chase them or catch them or anything like that. Typically, if you leave them alone, no sudden movements, just walk away, they're gonna leave your property. If they don't, you have a stubborn one, there are snake removal experts in our area. Yeah, you wanna get them on the phone real quick. Okay, now. My wife's way into this because there's good snakes and bad snakes, friendly ones that are actually good around the yards and others that aren't. So what should we be worried about here in Central Texas? Central Texas has a lot of snakes that are really helpful to the environment. A lot of non-venomous snakes, the rat snake and king snake and Texas brown snake, a lot of native to the species, garter snakes we all know. Now when you talk about venomous snakes in Central Texas, you're talking two main categories. There's the coral snake which is actually venomous but bites through sort of a long prolonged method that we don't think of typically but then the pit viper family that's one we all know and we're all probably really worried about and that's the Texas rattlesnake that's the water moccasin that's the copperhead those are the ones that sort of perk us up and make us worried about snakes in general I love how you said the pit viper family. I want them out of my family. That's exactly right. I don't like that. Okay, now how do you make your environment safer to protect kids, maybe even pets from snakes as well? You think you got a safe backyard and all of a sudden you got a dog or a curious kid wandering right up on one that's not having it. Yeah. Yeah, it is a big problem, particularly this time of year as they emerge. We haven't seen them for several months. The weather's warmer. They're emerging, they're getting out there, they're feeding. So you wanna keep your environment as snake proof as possible. And it may be impossible to get it 100%, but there's some definite things you can do. Brush, things that they can hide under. They love that shelter. So short grass, brush being removed. If you have varmints, if you see mice around, you're probably gonna have snakes. So right. you wanna make sure that if you have a varmint problem, you get rid of that so the snakes aren't following. Water features, pools tend to attract them, and certainly well-lit areas at night. Don't walk around blindly in the middle of the night in your, in your yard. Yeah, like any, like any uh, 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 predator out there, they're looking for whatever prey they can find. Okay, finally, what do we do if you have a suspected snake bite? That's when people need to spring into action. Yeah, well, first of all, it's what you don't do, right? Life is not like an old episode of gun smoke, so we don't <laughs> want to be sucking the snake bite. We don't want to be cutting into it or applying a tourniquet. Do not do that. Really, one important thing is remain calm. It's okay. The vast majority of snake bites do not end in a fatality, so we need to remain calm. We need to keep our heart rate low. The, where the bite is needs to be at or below the level of the heart. Of course, you're going to call 911. Do not try to go after the snake and capture it. If you can get a photo of it, if it's safe, that's absolutely fine. Remove any rings, jewelry, bracelets from the limb that's been affected. Call 911, and we're lucky to have world-class health care here in Central Texas that can take care of these. That's all terrific advice. I did have a dog get bit. Uh, did, we didn't know. Uh, if it was a venomous snake or not, but we got him the care he needed. It worked out. I couldn't imagine if it happened to your child, but that's all great advice. Dr. Lucia, thank you so much for being here today with Baylor Scott and White. Taking care of us. Watch out for those snakes, everybody. Don't go stepping on them now. Be careful out there.